Leos, beautiful queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. I missed you, beautiful queens and handsome kings, subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers, y'all. <clears throat> this whole holiday weekend just was a spur of the moment, but I had a good time, and I hope y'all had a good time. I was going to come on here yesterday, y'all, but when I say yesterday, you know how you come back from out of town and you be tired, you don't realize... I woke up twice. I slept the whole day away. I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. Oh, shit. Lee Oz, your third eye popping or somebody around you third eye popping? Well, I guess I'm around you. My third eye be popping. Who's been reckless and disregarding the consequences of doing stuff to y'all, huh? They finna have to pay for it. Whoever's been reckless and disregarding the consequences. <laughs> mm. Shouldn't have been. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They see that you still got passion and energy and you have the desire to create anything. And you will continue to create with your passion and your desire. Yeah, maybe some of y'all even got y'all some good passion this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, somebody tried to confuse you. Somebody thought, somebody was trying to, have, somebody had multiple options around you and they was trying to cause you confusion. Yeah, they was. They're trying to block your creativity because they was empty. They was, yeah. This is an emotionally, emotionless, empty-ass person that was trying to block your creativity. They had no goddamn love for you. But they finding out that they delusional ass just confused themselves because they didn't block your creativity. Look, you started out showing them that, no, I got desire. I got passion. And I... Not only do I got passion and desire, I can create anything through my desire. Because, mm -hmm. see, your desire and your passion and your energy came from the universe. You see that? It came from up above. So, this person really fucked theyself trying to stop something that you're doing for it. You, the shit that you've been creating, whatever it is, it could be anything. It could be toys. It could be spiritual. Whatever you've been creating was a gift that was given to you from above and you doing what above told you to do, they, they fucked up. They fucked up. They fucked up. The punishment they finna get, yeah, baby. For trying to stop you, they shouldn't have. They should have just let well be alone, kept on trying to do their little juju and come back and shit. Yeah. This person, whoever they was, had a lack of self-awareness. They doubted that they ever would be able to be stopped from the shit they was doing. But they was just self alone Yeah. You shattered their motherfucking dreams, baby. You shattered their dreams. Yeah. This is a broken a family or discorded ass union. Whether it's disharmony in you, whether it's lovers, friends, and worker partners, whoever. Why they thought they was going to shatter your dreams and block your creativity. You just shattered the shit out of their dreams. Because now, the, yeah, look. You over this relationship. You're bored with it. You're discontent. You don't want no more of their poison ass cups. You see, it's, it's over. It's over. And they never thought it would be over forever. But it's over. It's, o it's over. It's over. Look. This relationship is incomplete. It incompletes you. And you know, who wants to be in an incompleted ass relationship? Who wants to be in a relationship that somebody's trying to cause them confusion and delusions? Somebody trying to block their creativity because they jealous. Who? You seen that light how I did it? Yeah. Mm-mm. You manifest some wonderful things in your life. And this person cannot handle it. Now, only are you manifesting wonderful things in your life. You done manifested their ass out of your life. Whether it was purposely. 
or subconsciously. You manifested that. Not only have you been manifesting your goals to keep on, you manifested this person on out your life too. Because you manifest, you manifested not only your spirituality, you manifested financial stability. You're, you're manifesting real love. You're manifesting your goals to prosper from the desire that the universe gave you, whatever it may be. Whether it's a tarot card reader like me, somebody making toys, somebody helping elderly, somebody helping kids, somebody working for somebody else, you, you, you got that raise. Either way it go, you manifest it. And when you manifest real love in your life, almighty, the universe is going to get rid of anybody that got fake love. Because like I said, you might have, some of y'all might have did something to manifest them to be gone. Some of you just, hey, manifest the real love and the universe did the rest for you. Yeah. And now that person that was trying to fuck you over with their excessive ass pride, then they'll get punishment. If they ain't already got punishment. Yeah. Yeah, look. This person really lost the opportunity and missed the chance. They made a bad investment against you trying to block your creativity. They made a fucking bad investment. They made a bad investment of trying to stop your prosperity, your new ventures, your opportunity, because it was handed from the universe. It was handed. You see that coin that you was, it was handed from the universe. And when they try to stop something that was handed from the universe, the universe said, ah, get them the fuck out your life. Yeah, they made a bad investment. Now they finna see that they missed the opportunity. They missed the chance of moving on with you. And their excessive ass pride of trying to stop you. It's going to bring them punishment. They're not already going through it. Damn. Whatever this person was doing was bringing you home conflict. Conflict in your community. Conflict just period. And they was alright with it too. And God said, guess what? Now they finna have a lack of resources and a lack of stability. And they cannot be part of your legacy. No, they can't. Now this person realized they treasure memories with you. Y'all, this person was close to you that was trying to destroy you. Family member, mother, father, brother, sister. Kid, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend of me, best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best. No, that's your friend of me. That's your friend of me. That person spied on you. They gossiped about you. They was lying about you. They was manipulating you. But they also dismissed that you was brave and you had inner strength and you had the willpower to keep on going. And now they get to see how brave you are and your inner strength and your willpower. Leo, ain't that y'all? This person was very off balance. They, they were very off balance. This is an unbalanced motherfucker. And you didn't have the patience for this unbalanced person to be in your life anymore. I don't blame you. Yeah. They was op oh, they was impulsive and overbearing. Mm. Yeah. Trying to hold on tight to you for your pinnacles. That's what they was trying to hold on tight to you for. It was, yeah. Mm. This was a very insecure ass jealous person. Yeah, very. No spirituality in their life. None. I don't know who they upper. They they didn't have no higher person. They didn't. They only fucked with the love. Yeah. But you didn't forgave and moved on. Because you know who they are. And you know staying mad will only put you in their energy. And you be damned if you be in their energy. That's why you forgave them. Yeah. Look. 
This person needs to know that there will be no more fertility in this situation. There is no birth. That you feel like they're fucking empty. I hope this ain't no mama, grandma, auntie, sister. But it could be. Because it's an empress upside down. But this is a very fucked up stepmother. And Cinderella's stepmother finna find out. There is consequences for actions. I love you beautiful queens and handsome kings. Like, subscribe, comment to the next time. Yeah. That motherfucker, this person is angry and impulsive. Mm.